lad with the odds of six to four on the night of the fight. When the blood begins to flow, you'll hear them roar. Well, it's a blood... It's not actually a blood sport in that sense, but people, they want to get their money's worth. If they pay a tenner for ringside, they want to see that they've got a good tenner's worth, you know. This is the animal of people in boxing. The programme is set up, and we call the weigh-in for one o'clock on the day of the tournament. John Stracy, ten stone, four and three quarter pounds, please. Uh, will you take that, please? And look straight at me. John Conti, thirteen stone, two and a half pounds. Bill Drover to the skills, please. Eleven stone seven and a quarter pound. Eleven stone seven and a quarter pound. Where's the angel? Uh, will the boxers see the doctor before they go? Stayed in bed laying this morning, seen the doctor been waiting. Nothing to do until this evening, don't have to go down to the gym. On the day of the fight, you take it easy, try and relax as best you can. Rest and keep your mind off boxing, try to forget you're a fighting man. They're professionals and they're, they're supposed to be there to defend themselves, aren't they? Shall I play some discs or try to sleep or go to the pictures, which is best? Oh, what's the use when my mind is turning round and round, won't let me rest? He likes to hit the bloke and look and look back at you, see, and admire his work, you see. The music plays, but I don't hear it. The film unrolls, but I am blind. All I see and hear is boxing, nothing but boxing on me mind. Johnny was always pleased when the night of the fight came. He knew then that his training was over. You know, in the ring that night, he go to bed three weeks before the fight, he was on edge all the time. And he used to be trying to speak to him, you know, he used to get very irritable, and it used to take him all his time really to speak to me sometimes. Six o'clock, it's time to be moving all dolled up and in good shape. Check that you've packed your soap and towel, your gum shield and adhesive tape. Say so long to your old lady every time you go to fight. You'd think you was off to an execution. Tell her, Johnny, you'll be all right. When he was at school, a young boy, he often had fights in the street and, of course, he wouldn't let us know that he had any bother. He said to me, I'd love to be a boxer, Mother, and one day I'm going to be a boxer. I said, OK, that would suit me. So, of course, he did go to some training for boxing in the school. Then he thought he'd go away to see. But I think that he should have taken it up right away, you know. But as it gets closer to the fight, everything has to be just exactly sort of like a training camp, which isn't the same thing as a home. I mean, you know, for the few weeks before the fight, it gets progressively more and more difficult to have everything just so. I wouldn't like to stop him. I wouldn't try and stop him if he wanted to pack in a problem. Because it's in his blood. He's been boxing since he was 10 years of age. Like, you know, so I couldn't stop him really. Usually, we've left the children with Mark's parents for the night before to make sure that he has a good night's sleep. So I drive down to the farm, pick them up, and sit and talk for a while. And coming home, I usually time it so that I come home just as his fight should be finishing, and somebody hopefully will be phoning soon. But that sometimes means just driving around in the car for two hours or mm. the radio on. And 
anything to distract myself. Sometimes I stop and visit with friends, but don't really... You know, I can't concentrate and I'm not interested in <laughs> a very good company, so I gave that up. No, I don't think he'll ever get damaged really bad. I always light a candle for him, <laughs> so he won't get hurt. <laughs> and I think he's able to take care of himself and he's getting more experience all the time. So uh, I don't really worry. Oh, I'm tagging Liv. I, I never answer the telephone myself when it rings. Because I would have my sister or my brother in the house with me so that they can answer the phone, you know, and get to know the bad news or the good news, whatever it is. I just, I just potter all around the house doing all kinds because I'm really scared, you know, when I get you frightened. You never think of it as your baby, then, who's now getting battered by people? Oh, no, oh, no, I never think of that. Hope he batters them. <laughs> <laughs> you get to the hall and the place is crowded Then the butterflies start to play Try not to show that you're feeling nervous This is where you earn your pay The first six rounders about to start The announcer's voice begins to boom Four more bouts and you'll be out there Time you was in your dressing room <laughs> The hall is full, it's been a sellout for weeks. Half with your coat and half with your suit and hounds to check Italian style. Half with your shirt and tie and handmade shoes, you'll no need them a while. On with your joke strap, on with your shorts of satin and colours known to the fans. On with the stomach guard, on with adhesive tape strap tight around your horns. Gosh, you're back. No, I'm both. I can tell you, maybe I'll be fine. Before I fight, you're sitting in the dressing room, and you're thinking, what a fool I am sitting here waiting to get out there. You keep thinking I'm going to myself a good job. This is no use. You're all keyed up. It's a bad part waiting to go in a ring. Like, you get aches and pains you've never read before, you know. Something just clicks inside you. Well, this is what you've been waiting on. Oh, I've got a seat was too far back. There's the bell, the crowd is cheering, end of bout and knew it's me. The talk is ever the waiting end, it knew it's fight and earn your fee. This is why you did your training, this is where the belt is won. This is how you earn your wages in there then and get the gun. Oh, don't forget the John boy. Do it stuff tonight. The beauty of boxing is this. You go into boxing knowing you're going to get hurt. Nobody, nobody puts a gun to their head and says, go in. Nobody forces them into it. Everyone is doing it from their own free will. And, I'm, and for myself, I'd have done it without getting paid. And not to get hurt, I thought, well, oh, I'm probably a coward. But, um, you know, it's, uh, I don't know. I believe one is many competition, isn't it? It's healthy. It was through my father, really. Yeah. He was a PT instructor, and I think he always fancied the box. And yeah. So he just pushed me into being a fighter, day sort of thing, you know. Yeah. I don't think he... I think he only just uh, expected me just to be an amateur fighter, you know, not to actually turn professional or anything like that. Because of the circumstances, I mean, environmental circumstances that I wouldn't be able to to achieve what I had originally wanted, which was I wanted to be a lawyer. You know, it you know appealed to me then. And uh, but then again, I can tell you one or two things to the effect that changing schools, things like that, then I wasn't able to really settle down properly because transferring from the West Indies, and I'd only changed school in the West Indies, um, but then my parents having to come here. And then I, I didn't go to school over here, but by the time I changed school several times in the West Indies. When I go out into the hall and all the people are there, like, you know, the fanfares are going, the lights and everything, I always think to myself, right, I'm going to work. That's it. It's a job of work, I've got to do it. And that's what I'm getting paid for every day. Once you're in the ring, that's it. You don't know messing about. The quicker you get started, the better off you are. You're excited. You're nervous. You're trembling. It's the only place that 
A man is strictly on his own. It's the loneliest place in the world. It's like you're in an empty room, you know, just you and this other guy. <laughs> and one of you are going to walk out victorious, you know? Champion Johnny Boy at 12 stone 7 pounds. On my left, young hopeful, 12 stone 5. They'll fight for 15 rounds. They'll punch and maul each other, but of course, no harm is meant. It's all good, clean fun, and pays the managers 25%. You look this fella. It's up to you, son, and don't forget what this means. We'll have a party tonight. This means thousands of pounds. Success will be famous tomorrow morning. Get there. You've got to win this. You must. You've got to be the boss, and you'll win it if you're the boss fighter. Come on, Johnny, and give it the fight. 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 Come on, Johnny, and give him the right. Come on, Johnny, and face him and batter him and bash him and smash him and belt him around the ring. Make it a beautiful fight. Come on, son. The left hand boy. Come on, fisty boy. Box, 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 box. If he's a fighter, I've got to keep boxing him. If he's a boxer, I'll make it a fight. Got to see whether he favors his left hand or likes to come in with his right. Come on, jump, 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 jump. Come on. Play your right hand one now, come on. Come on, Johnny, make it straight from the shoulder, boy. Come on, Come on, Johnny, and shake him and shatter him and whack him and crack him and wallop him round the ring. Hit him with all that you've got. Nice and relax now, watch him and find him now. Keep to the centre, hear him the ring. Give him no rest, keep bobbing and weaving and throw everything you can fling. I know he's going to lead the left hand, and he's going to follow through with the right cross. I know he is, because he's been doing that. Yeah, a hard fight is a bad fight. I know he's going to do it. And it's quick. You can't see it. So I've got to walk into him, make him throw it before he's ready. I'm not going to stand back and be a target for him. I've got to lean this way. I've got to lean out the way of that right hand. Your mind is working sharp, you understand? Your eyes is working. You're thinking all the time. You see a right hand coming, you may turn your shoulder. If it hits your shoulder, you've got to change the counter back. You know, you win, win. It's the reflex. But he ain't going to let me count. He drops his right elbow. Bangs the left hand first. So now what I'm going to do? He's thinking as fast as I am. Keep with him, Johnny boy. You've got him reeling. The fans are with you all the way. They've come from far and near to see you do your stuff. Come on, Angie. We've come to watch your skill. Oh, we want to be here with you at the kill. So go and fight him, Johnny boy, and put him in the kitchen. Take that, that's where Bobby is. Down the rope, the rope. Mix it in and jump it, careful kids and watch his right. Beware it, Johnny, grab him, careful Johnny, take it easy. Watch out. Oh! Come on, kid, and do some work. Punch him hard and make it hard. Let's see some blood, that's why we paid our money. Hit him with your left and let us hear the sound of leather. Let's see that all one, two, three, Johnny, uh, left and right together. Painting, dunking, jabbing, Johnny. There's a bell. 